Welcome to Outback Outdoors. Make sure you like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos. Listen up, I've rode through howling hell and wind and snow and rain. I am oblivious to misery and pain. And that iron in your gizzard, it will never go away. So long as you got work to do today. And there's a monster on your back, son, get your guts up off the trail. We got a job to do and I promise we won't fail One day you'll learn your scars and all the fearlessness you lack Don't worry about that on Charlie Bull The monster's on your back There's a monster on your back Hunting season doesn't start just on opening day. Uh, it's the work and preparation that goes into a hunt, for me, is almost more enjoyable than the hunt itself. And having this little property out here in Nebraska, you know, to work the land and do projects to benefit the wildlife, uh, for me, that's, that's what it's all about. One of the things we're doing out here at Swanson Lake Ranch is trying to put more food plots in the interior part of the ranch. You know, here in Nebraska, there's lots of food, you know, for the deer. There's production agriculture everywhere, you know, corn, wheat, alfalfa. But for the deer to utilize all that, you know, commercial crops that are grown in the area, it requires them to leave the property. When they're making those big movements, that's when they're exposing themselves to, you know, all kinds of dangers. The more we can do to keep their you know, food here on the interior of the property and close to the sanctuaries, the less those deer have to move, you know, the higher survival rates they're going to have. Where the old road meets the gravel, grass is turning green. It's a far cry from the city and the places I've just been.
Coming up the home road to see a front yard full of toys A pretty blonde haired mama and a handsome little boy And there's my old Chevy all covered up in dust Sitting in the driveway waiting there for us To load up our horses in the twilight This segment brought to you by Hoyt. Get serious, get Hoyt. You know, Swanson Lake Ranch is a special location for the deer. You know, they have everything they need for habitat. You know, food, water, cover. But one of the things I talk about a lot is sanctuaries and how important a sanctuary is. And really to, you know, keep the deer moving in a predictable pattern you want those deer to not know they're being hunted. In these sanctuaries, we do not set foot in there. We do not hunt turkeys. We don't look for sheds. The sanctuaries are the deer's haven. And by doing that, we're allowing, we're really harboring a lot of mature bucks. I never was good at goodbye. I couldn't stand to see her cry. Looking out at the river all alone Cody stood behind me like a stone While she said goodbye to the last red rock arriving She said you'll never see the morning sun You know, we hit Swanson Lake Ranch, we very fortunate to have amazing turkey population. Even though we're not doing anything specifically for the turkeys in terms of our habitat management, the turkeys are benefiting a lot from what we're doing for the deer. They're utilizing the food plots, the sanctuaries we have set up for the deer. That's where the turkeys like to go and roost too. That's where they, they have a sanctuary. Uh, so even though we're not specifically targeting any projects for the turkeys, uh, they're really benefiting from a lot of the other work we're doing here. I can feel the gunfire Knew it was coming soon And I said a prayer For the last red rock Well, here at Swanson Lake Ranch, we're sitting on a critical wetland on the central flyway. You know, every waterfowl species you can think of will use this property at some point during the year. 
but it's also, you know, we're, we're talking about deer hunting. The work we've done on the wetlands, you know, has improved the waterfowl habitat, you know, clearing a lot of the invasive tree species like the Russian olives and the cedars, allowing these warm season grasses to come back. It's really diversified, you know, the habitat for the deer as well. This segment brought to you by Hamsky Archery Solutions, maximizing your accuracy. Now here at Swanson Lake Ranch, we have extremely high deer densities. There's a limiting factor for every population. And if you don't harvest the does, what you'll get find is one, the bucks are not gonna get the nutrition they need to grow antlers to their full potential. But more so than that, looking at the health of the population, you're not going to have fawn recruitment. But by harvesting more does, keeping that population suppressed under the carrying capacity, you actually increase your fawn recruitment because the deer have everything that they need. And if you want to see a lot of bucks, you need a lot of fawns because that's where your buck recruitment is. Essentially, nothing can outcompete a deer better than another deer. Show me the ways of horsemen Rope holler, snaffle, and bozell Screw me down tight on the bucker I want to ride this colt through hell Tell me the rough rider's secrets Out of 911 your lad ago To cross her feet in a tussle When to hang on, when to let You are a modern contradiction You hold to the ways of yesterday You bully buckaroo I wish I was you You say all there is to say Soft-mouthed and always looking for you I see obedience in her eye Her ears are ever leaning forward Between the desert and the sky With a fancy wild rag around your neck Jingle bobs are singing out a tune Just you and her until the sun sets Here upon the far Hawaii moon I think I smoked her. I think I smoked her. Let's try it out. Yeah, it's Adam's turn now. You hold to the ways of yesterday You believe buckaroo I wish I was you You say all there is to say With a whisper Show me the ways of 
legs of horsemen Rope halter, snaffle and bozell It's all about fawn survival. If you want to have bucks, you have to have high fawn survival. The way you get high fawn survival is keeping that population under the carrying capacity. This segment brought to you by Gold Tip, the toughest arrow you'll ever shoot. Road down Wolf Creek Pass The white autumn lightning October 23rd 1935 I was one mounted rider I was riding alone On a gray line back done was the color of stone on a company saddle on a company horse I give him the name for Chief Joseph Ness Pierce and down Davenport Canyon Pushing seventeen head, I swore to the foreman they'd come back alive. And that night in the canyon it was windy and black, except for the lightning. We got in the blind late. We, we just arrived here today. It's November 1st. The six, about six o'clock, a little after six, so we have a little time yet. But the deer, uh, there's a, our farm ground that's just to the south of us here. There's already a bunch of deer on that farm ground. That we came in about 5.30, but they're all does. Uh, where we're sitting right here is this little corridor, this little pinch point. I call it the land bridge. Last year we saw a nice buck on here. Unfortunately, we didn't have a buck tag in the blind when he showed up. The trail camera I just pulled, it's been up there for about two weeks and the car was full. So it's telling me there's been quite a bit of activity. Be curious to look at the pictures tonight and see if there's any good bucks crossing here. Where the cedars hung low. They would gather in the canyon below. So I just closed my eyes. I waited to die. In a white flash of light, down the wet canyon wall. Gave Pierce the reins And he found us a trail When we came to the bottom I took rain once again Gathered the cattle And trailed them to town That's the first deer that's come by, first sit, November 1st. Beautiful buck, beautiful buck. I, I'm speechless. I'm absolutely speechless. He was moving faster than I thought. He was so close. 
I can't believe I hit him as back as I did, but I still think I'm in the lung, so. We're back here first thing this morning, try to recover this buck. Followed him last night. He went about 100 yards, found where he bedded, and the fact he wasn't in that bed made me decide to pull back. And so we're coming back here this morning. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off last night. Hopefully we'll find them dead here. Out on Highway 84 40 miles right outside It's right here. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, look at this buck. Look at this buck. Oh my goodness. Look at this. What a stud. I don't even know what to say. What a stud. What a stud of a buck. I Just speechless. I don't know what else to say. He's here. This is the sixth year we've had Swanson Lake Ranch. And every year it keeps getting better. Understanding what the deer need, how to hunt the deer. You know, it's a combination of management and strategy. And every year the bucks are getting bigger. And this buck here is, he's my best whitetail from Swanson Lake by far. And uh, I mean, what, what a great buck. Thanks for watching Outback Outdoors. We encourage you to comment below and as always, like, subscribe, and click the alert to stay up to date on all our new videos.